Hey, welcome back Knife Nerds and Everyday Care people. It's the Big Kanaka here with another little bit of a knife review here. I uh, haven't had this for very long, but you know what? I've looked at videos of this. Uh, I've checked it out online. And you know what? I wanted to add this to my collection because I think it's a really neat little knife. Um, I've got some really big uh, honking blades. I've got some, you know, some great size three and a half inch blades, which I think three and a half inch is your, kind of your perfect EDC uh, size. I mean, you get into that four inches or four inches plus and you pull that out and it looks kind of murdery and you get people a little bit worried. Uh, especially now you got lots of snowflakes out there that uh, you pull out a big honking blade and they're like, okay, who are you going to stab? <laughs> you know, uh, where something like this, you pull it out of your pocket and even the, even the, the most uh, scaredy cat's going to say, oh my goodness, what a cute little knife. And then you hand it to him and you say, hey, I try to close it. And then they go bananas and then they try to force it and they're going to break it. And then you say, stop. <laughs> Here's how you close it. This has actually what's called the phantom lock. And it actually, uh, you push that in and then that closes up. How is that? That is really cool. I mean, you'd think that this would be a back lock, but it's not. No back lock here whatsoever. So, and it uh, has what's called the phantom lock. Now, they discontinued this here quite a, quite a while ago. This is a 2012 knife. And um, I've just been looking at it for quite some time and I wanted to put one inside of my collection. All right, let's go over some specs here. Let's have a look at the size and I'll give you kind of my impressions on there. So she's uh, five and a third inches long or uh, 135 millimeters. And so we'll put a big honking knife. Uh, this is the Spyderco Butch Valentin uh, full size. And you can see how it's got, you know, almost the same size as just the blade here. Now I EDC'd this yesterday. Uh, I carried this yesterday and I hadn't carried it in a long time. And I forgot how solid this uh, knife is. What a great knife here. And then of course uh, we have uh, a tiny little bug. And uh, yeah, that gives you the kind of the idea. This is about the only knife in that's smaller than this little bugger here. I'm just kidding, the dragonflies. But um, this little knife here, I'm not sure you can see what's on there. There's Play-Doh. Now, my, uh, my, uh, she's just about four now. She's gonna be four in December. My granddaughter, you know, I decided to, to get her a knife. She's always helping Papa at the kitchen, cutting vegetables and stuff like that. And she always wants a little knife to, cut her um her play-doh up so papa got her her very own little folding knife and this is what it is now i took the actual edge and uh i put it against uh my uh spartaco uh, medium stone and i saw the hell out of it so it will cut play-doh maybe some cucumbers but not much else little pokey but she's only she's only has it when her papa's around and just to show you a picture of my little sweetheart that's uh that's her right there her name is emmy or I call her Squeaker, and uh, that's Emmy and Papa in the camper. But I just want to kind of show off my little Squeaker's, uh, her very first knife. Now, I don't know if uh, three and a half or three and three quarters is uh, old enough to have yourself a pocket knife, but she's not carrying it in her pocket. She's just using it to cut her Play-Doh up. So just thought I'd throw that out there. And uh, going back to the Meerkat. All right. So, so now uh, she's got a VG10 uh, fully flat uh, ground blade at two and a half uh, millimeters thick. Now, I ended up taking this and putting this on my KME the, when I first got it. And um, you can sure tell a difference between the VG10 steel and say S30V or S35VN or M4. Uh, I mean, this took an edge very, very fast. And I mean, I used to, you know, the KME comes with the, the stock diamond um, uh, stones and that's what I use and it and even the I don't have like the beast the 50 uh, grit or anything like that I think the uh, smallest one is 240 I think of the uh, uh, the stones uh, with the KME system and it just it sawed through that VG10 right away and I guess that's the biggest knock that I have on this knife is uh, the VG10 steel but I mean this is mostly going to be a secondary blade anyways it's going to be used to maybe cut some envelopes tiny bit you know things open some tape things like that you know and it's kind of your i'm going to end up carrying this probably in my uh my bag is kind of my secondary knife if i have to hand somebody a knife you know to cut something i will probably hand them this rather than something like this my kapara because you know what if they're a dummy and they drop this on this you know the cement and it chips the the tip or something i'd rather have this meerkat take a little bit of a beating than something like this now, the other really nice thing about something like this is if you do are in a workplace 
where you you know it may be frowned upon to have like a big four inch blade you know pull out to cut open a cardboard box or something like that you get people a little bit freaked out this little meerkat is not gonna, I don't think it's gonna scare anybody. As a matter of fact, I think no matter how uh, much of a scaredy cat you are, if you uh, show somebody this life, they're gonna say, oh my goodness, how cute is that? <laughs> That's probably what they're gonna say. Now, let's go over the specs here real quick here. Like I said, she's uh, five and a third inches long. Your clothes length is three and a third inches. So, I mean, there you go, three and a third inches. Now, uh, the clip itself is a the wire clip, which is pretty much everybody's favorite clip. And the only thing about this is it is tip down only. So it is left or right. You can put it on either side and tip down only. And uh, the one thing I got to say about this little clip here is it's really sturdy. Uh, you know, maybe because it is a little bit short. Some of the wire clips that I've got in the larger knives, they're a little bit, um, they twist a little bit. Like you can see here, you know, here's the size there. And you can see it's got a little bit of give to it. Where this one here has got some give to it, but it's a, it's a, it's a more stiffer, uh, I, I think, wire clip. But I really, really appreciate that. Now, your blade is only two inches long. And you have an inch and uh, a three quarters inch cutting length, which is, you know, for a knife like this, you can actually do a lot of cutting with a two inch blade. Uh, don't get me wrong. Uh, three and a half inches, I think, is the perfect everyday carry size. But you can still do an awful lot of cutting with uh, something like this. Now the handle itself has got the uh, phantom lock. This uh, here material here is the um, FRN fiberglass reinforced nylon. But it seems like it's a, it's a nicer uh, FRN than something like say your dragonfly, things like that. This seems like it, I don't know if they changed their um, their formula or something like that for this particular knife or if they've changed it since 2012 but it just seems like a more upscale material uh the the look of it up close and the feel of it it just feels like it's a whole lot more schwank all right now this is uh, uh the vg10 and it is a seiki city japan so the fit and finish is excellent on this um so just really Kind of a wonderful little secondary blade with a neat little feature with that. Now the the uh, flick factor on this, the fidget factor, is not super high, but I mean it is neat closing this knife. So I mean you can on a good day here you can you know you can close it with just a little bit of a flick. She's a little small for my hands to to spidey flick open with a thumb. You can get going. But I imagine a little bit of practice here and I might be able to uh, get her going. Now, it is uh, kind of the nice thing here too as well. On such a small little blade, it's not a really thin blade. Uh, you've got quite a bit of, uh, of thickness here to this knife. So it does ergonomically, I mean, it fits in the hands really, really well. Like I've got big hands and she's, you know, a three, uh, three finger for sure with a little bit your picky finger kind of catching the back end of it. So it is comfortable. And then of course you've got kind of your, your choil here too as well, your front fingered choil. And it's like a 70-30 into the handle too as well. So, I mean, you can get in there and really bear down if you need to do some of that cutting. But for the most part, I mean, I like these little scallops here. They're, they're very, very comfortable. I mean, the whole knife is, is ergonomically really, really nice. Now, I guess one of the biggest um, comparisons, I guess, would be probably the uh, Spyderco Dragonfly. And uh, let's just see. I should have had one here. Uh, let me grab my Dragonfly so you can have a look at it. And... Ah, here we go. So you can see that's going to be kind of what's mostly replaced it a little bit. So, you know, your Dragonfly here, as you can see, it is quite a bit of a thinner knife. And... Um, it just seems like, you know, this is a comfortable knife and it cuts really, really well. But this uh, Meerkat just seems to fit the hands so much better. That little bit of added thickness makes it way more comfortable. So, I mean, if you can pick up a Meerkat on the secondary market, uh, you know, they come in, a, I think you can get them in a Rex 45. You can get them in a Voku 2, I think is what it's called, as well as the VG10. Um, if you're really, really concerned about... Um, you know, edge holding ability. You know, the Voku 2 and the Rex 45 are fantastic uh, knife steels. So if you can pick one up on the secondary market and you're trying to figure out between the two, say maybe a Dragonfly 2 or the Meerkat, 
I think the Meerkat is way more comfortable, but if I had to choose between these two, I'd probably choose the ZDP-189 over the, the, the VG-10. But just as far as um, ergonomics, I think the, the Meerkat has it beat hands down. So just wanted to kind of throw that out there. Uh, an absolutely fantastic little knife. Now, scale of one to 10, I would probably give this knife overall probably a five because it's so small. But if I'm looking for a small knife, um, overall, I would probably say it's, uh, you know, an eight out of 10. Uh, I'm gonna really, really hammer this uh, VG10. I'm a knife snob I, and I know you, you shouldn't matter that much for your small secondary knife that you're going to cut envelopes, but the VG10 is easy to easy to um, sharpen, but I really, really enjoy having a steel that will hold an edge for a long, long time. So uh, the other thing I would knock it a little bit is this Phantom Lock, this back lock system, it's got a tiny bit of up and down play and uh, normally drives me crazy. Side to side play, not really there, but a tiny bit of up and downer. And that, so that's, I'm gonna knock it for that. So that's why you're getting an eight out of 10 uh, on the small knife category. Still would recommend uh, you picking this up. Um, it's a great one to add to your collection, especially if you're a Spyderco collector like I am. I really, really like it. All right, so. Oh, so that's uh, that's my little look here on the uh, Meerkat. And I just wanted to also, give me one second here, I'm trying to find something. Uh, nope, can't find it. Oh well, I will, uh, I ended up getting a email from, actually, please, please forgive me for this second here, guys. I just want to try to find this. Oh, no. Hmm. Oh, well, I will, uh, on my next video, I, I, I ended up getting a message from Patrick Anderson down in the States, and uh, he ended up giving me the name of the lady who ended up making that wonderful rig uh, on the uh, SE6, which I wanted to actually mention. Ah, here we go. Right here. So this custom leather rig is a wonderful, wonderful uh, rig and it was designed by a, a lady whose name on Instagram is Oy, O Y E underscore leather. So um, I just wanted you guys to uh, have a look at that and I actually want to get her name and I apologize here guys. Please, please bear with me for just one second here and I'll see if I can get her name because I do want to Definitely mention her because this is a wonderful, wonderful gift, and it is not only a wonderful, wonderful gift, it is a. Well, here we go. I think I've got it. Aha! Julie Barber is the lady's name. And uh, underground, on, on Instagram, it is oi underscore leather. I'm going to leave a link in the description so you can have a look at that, and I will probably go back to as well and re-edit, not re-edit, but I'll add the link to this lady's Instagram page who made this under the uh, Izula 2, as well as the SE6 videos. I'll put the link in there too as well. So just wanted to kind of put that out there. Um, thank you so much again, uh, Patrick, for sending me this wonderful, wonderful gift. Now, I also just want to say to you guys out there, thanks for stopping by. If you like what you saw, please, please give me the thumbs up as well as the subscription. Um, it's wonderful you guys out there. Um, with your comments and stuff like that. I love to hear from you. So if you have any questions or concerns, please, please leave them there in the comments. Um, now, uh, please help me uh, spread my voice with a subscription. And remember to please, please stay safe out there. Listen to the experts. Keep your thumbs, keep your thumbs up. Keep your stick on the ice, the shiny side up. This is the Big Conductor saying adios. <laughs>